out. And start to soften your face, soften your jaw, just find this softness here, this presence of being here in the body. Whatever breath pattern works for you, maybe your breath is even in and out the same count, or maybe you're dealing with the excess energy today and you need a little longer on the exhale. And then from here, from this first few moments together, maybe an intention for your practice today begins to form. It can be whatever you need it to be today. Maybe it is just this presence, just feeling your butt in the chair or wherever it is, the feet on the floor, the hands. Or maybe something different. And then when you're ready, let's bring the palms together. Let thumbs rest right at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Seal in these first few breaths in your intention in this moment. And taking a big inhale, a long, slow exhale. Nice. And then we'll ease the palms down as I like to do. Typically, we'll just stay seated, but circle the torso around. So using these first few rotations as a way to check in with the body today. To notice. <clears throat> okay. And then let's reverse, move in the opposite direction. Good, and then slowly making your way all the way up to sit, take in a big inhale, longer exhale. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, slowly coming down. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Nice, and then we're gonna inhale, reach arms up. And then exhale, bring the left hand down, reach right arm over. So just take a moment here. Stretching, breathing in and out of the nose. Good. And just maybe feeling a little warmth accumulating there in the shoulder. And then we'll start to circle the arm down and around. So creating some movement here. Doing your best to maintain the breath as you go. And then let's reverse, move the arm in the opposite direction. Good. And then a last circle all the way up, back and around, just sit in the center, hands down on the knees, big breath in, longer breath out. And then let's take the left ear to the left shoulder, just use a little bit of that Fluid, we moved down into that right shoulder. You can just stay here like this. If you want a little more, you can bring the right hand to the floor or you can even lift the right hand up a little bit. You can also just nod the head yes or no, or just be still. Whatever, whatever is really resonating for you today, allow that to be. And if it's just not even doing anything that we're doing, that's fine too. Good. If you've moved the head at all, let's find a little stillness. And then if your hand is anywhere else, but on top of the right knee, bring it back, bring your head back to center. And then let's circle the shoulders around. You'll probably notice a difference between right shoulder, left shoulder, maybe. Good. And then let's reverse, move in the opposite direction. And then we'll drop shoulders down, take a big inhale, reach up. And then exhale, let's bring the right hand down, left arm up and over. So stretching out and over to that right side, but relax both the shoulders. So try not to scrunch the shoulders up into the ears if you can help it. 
Nice, slow, deep breath. Awesome. And then we'll start circling arm down and around, letting all that fluid move down through into the arm. Nice. And then shift, move in the opposite direction. And last circle, all the way up, back and around, left hand on the knee, just sit in the center for a moment, big breath in, longer breath out. Nice. And then same thing we did on the other side, right ear to right shoulder. You can stay here and then just Leave the right or left hand on left knee, or you can levitate it. You can bring it down on the floor, whatever hand resonates for you today. You can nod the head yes or no. Good. Just again, take in some nice deep breaths. Awesome. Your head has moved at all, find some stillness. And then let's bring the left hand onto the knee, bring the head back to center, big breath in, longer breath out. Good, and we'll go ahead now and just find our way to the mat. So grab any props that you need, want today to support yourself in practice. And we'll start off with hands and knees, table pose, and just moving through some cat cow. As always, if there is a different movement that you want to take, circling those hips around or anything else, feel free to do that. Finding a breath pattern that really suits you today. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and find a neutral table. We'll get a little bit more into the neck and shoulder. So just take your left hand down to the floor and we'll reach and stretch that right arm up and thread the needle. So bring the shoulder down to the earth. You can stay here and just have the left hand out in front of you. You can also wrap the left hand onto the right hip. Most important thing is not how complicated. <laughs> You make the shape, but more so just the ability to really breathe and let go of that stress and tension. So a lot of pain in the body is us tensing unnecessarily, or it's necessary. We think it's necessary. It's survival, right? So always in your practice, finding that place where you can go and just breathe and relax. You don't have to achieve anything today. Good. Let's take the left hand down, plant it to the earth, counter stretch right arm, and then bring right arm down. We'll take a little movement in between the sides. So whatever that looks like for you, cat cow or hip circles, doing that, honoring that. Good. And then when you're ready, this time we're gonna take that right hand down and then reach and stretch the left arm up. And then we'll bring the left shoulder down for thread the needle. So go ahead and again, find the variation of this that works best for you. You can wrap the arm around or not. And just that ability to breathe freely is what we're really going for here. A couple more breaths here. Do your best to enjoy it. If that means coming out a little bit, do that. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that right hand to the earth and then we'll big counter stretch left arm, come back to table. 
move through a little cat cow, or if you'd like to, you can go on up and back into a down dog. So whatever feels best. I keep saying the word resonate, but really, you know, those little moments where we're checking in with the body off the mat, we can feel ourself, the sitting bones in the chair, the feet on the floor, the hands. We use that to create intuition, to create awareness so that when we're practicing, we go, oh, that down dog sounds good or cat cow sounds really good. I'll do that. All right, so if you're in the table position, go ahead, find neutral table and everyone let's reach and stretch the right leg back behind you, bring the knee, open up the hip. If you're in your down dog, bend the left knee a little bit, pull the left hip back. Everybody breathe. First time getting into those hips. We'll step right foot through, and then we're gonna bring left knee down to the earth. So if you need to pad the left knee up with a blanket or anything else, do that. We'll warm up a little bit, just coming in and out of the front of that hip. Coming back to breath. Good. And then we're gonna find a lunge here. So reach, stretch arms up and take some nice deep breaths here. Good, and let's, if you want to clasp those palms, reach the fingertips up and then we'll lean out and over to the right side. If that's too much, then just stay in the center. If you are reaching to the right, pull the outer right hip back and make sure both of your armpits are facing the same direction. One more breath here. And inhale, center, and then exhale, hands down, framing the right foot. Let's back those hips up, wiggle the right heel forward, flex through that right foot and fold over the right leg and breathe. Slow, deep breath in and out of the nose, long, slow exhales. Good. check in here with the shoulders, the face, the jaw is speaking of the places that again, your body may think, oh, this is a lot of a stretch here. I need to tense up just as a protective mechanism. Good. And then slowly bending into right knee. Let's bring those hands down. Take a little baby knee down plank and then slowly lower. We'll just do one back bend here. Thumb in line, thumbs in line with the chest, tops of feet to floor. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, child's pose. So go ahead and find child's pose. Forehead to the earth. Nice deep breaths here. Just letting everything rest. Good. And then slowly coming up to your table pose, choosing to stay here, move through a little cat cow, or if you wanna go up and back to that down dog, go for it. Doing your best just to not force anything. And then wherever you are, notice the hands, the face, the jaw find movement or stillness, whichever resonates with you today. Okay, we're gonna find neutral table if you're in table, down dog, everybody, reach left leg back behind you, bend knee, open up the hip if you're in your down dog, a little bend in the right knee, pull the right hip back breath <laughs> wherever you are table or down dog breathe into it lift the knee a little higher and then we'll step that left foot through go ahead lower that right knee down pat it up if you need to hands on top of the left knee and then that little warm-up movement coming in and out of that hip breathing along with it Good. 
and find a place of neutrality, reach the arms up, stay here, or clasp those palms, pointer finger reaches, lean out to left. So it's up to you how you do this. Just make sure those armpits are both facing the same direction. You'll have to pull the outer left hip back a little bit so you don't overdo it, over twist. One more breath, relax those shoulders. Inhale center, exhale hands down. We'll back hips up, wiggle left heel forward, flex through that left foot, fold. And slow it down. Right when you get into the shape, check in with the jaw, the shoulders, the hands, sometimes they grip. Good. And let's go ahead, slowly bend into left knee. Bring the hands down, little baby knee down plank here. Just engage core for a second, lower down. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Go right on into the child's pose. Find child's pose that works for you today. Adding any props or supports that make this more accessible, enjoyable. And check in with your feeling of the body touching the earth anywhere, maybe the hands, the feet, legs, anywhere. Just feel that sensation below you. Really feel the heaviness of the body on the earth. When we're stressed, we are kind of living up in our head and we lose connection with the earth, with the ground. Nice, let's inhale to table. Again, moving through a little cat cow if you want to, or hip circle, or choosing to go up to down dog, totally up to you. And again, in your down dog, you can move, you can be totally still, whatever works. Okay, so from either your down dog or your table, you'll reach and stretch the right leg back behind you, bend knee, open up the hip, and step right foot through. Optional, left knee up or down, up to you. So I'm gonna come up, whoop. <laughs> bring my hands on my hips and just get really nice and stable in this lunge. Again, you can lower left knee if you'd like to. We're gonna use that length we just created in that earlier lunge to twist. So twist up to you. You can simply just kind of lean forward, bring left hand down, reach right arm up. Or if you wanna take a prayer twist, you can do that. But check in with your low back anytime you twist. So if low back says, nope, <laughs> then back out of it. Keep pulling the outer right hip back. Nice deep breaths. One more breath. Good, let's unwind, frame that right foot. If your left knee is down, go ahead, pop it on up. We're gonna come to pyramid. So left foot will step in a couple footprints, right leg straightens. Fold over the right leg. If you have blocks there, if you're having a difficult time reaching the earth, grab those blocks and check in with the neck, shoulders, face and jaw, all those little areas that wanna hold tension, even the toes. My toes sometimes will just try to grip and hang on. We never wanna look at it as like that you're doing something wrong. It's just, it's a biological thing of your body just trying to protect you. So I just say, thank you. <laughs> thank you, body, for keeping me here, for doing all the cool stuff you do that I don't even think about. Good, and then when you're ready, we're gonna press right into that. 
right foot, step left foot forward to meet it. We'll find a forward fold at the front side of the mat. Hang here, notice right leg versus left leg. Maybe sway a little bit. Whatever. Again, feels good, restorative. Good, we're gonna drop those hands down, take an inhale, lengthen torso. Exhale, fold. And plant palms, bend knees, step back to plank, or you can just straight away drop those knees down if you'd like to. And then lower to the belly. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale back to your child's pose. So finding forehead onto the earth. Those long exhales, this place of surrender. Just letting yourself drop in and simply be. Okay, let's inhale up to table. Again, move through your cat cow, or if you wanna just go straight away into your down dog, go ahead and go there. And movement, stillness, breath, whatever you're doing, breath. Okay, so from your table or your down dog, we'll reach the left leg back behind you, bend the knee, open up the hip, breathe into it, pull the outer right hip back. Good. And then step the left foot through. You can keep right knee up or down, up to you. Let's go ahead, inhale up into your lunge. Awesome. And then we're gonna twist. So whichever twist you wanna do up to you, we're gonna come forward, either drop right hand down, left arm up, or find that prayer twist. Good. Nice deep breaths here. One more breath. Slowly unwind, bring those hands down to frame the left foot. Pop that right knee up off the floor if it's down and then step the right foot in pyramid. So go ahead, come on into pyramid. Relax over the left leg. Take some nice deep breaths. Good. When you're ready, we'll press into left foot. Step right foot up to meet it. Go ahead, fold, and then take any other little swaying movements, or you can be perfectly still, whatever works for you here. I'm going to step on my hands. I haven't done that in a while. Because when else would I step on my hands? Like, seriously. <laughs> Whatever you do, you're just being present with the body, the feet on the floor, sensation of breath, try not to judge it if you can help it. Good. And then we're going to bring those hands down if they're not already down already. Take an inhale, lengthen your torso. Exhale, fold. 
plant palms, bend knees, stepping back plank or straight away to your knee down plank, either one, or just skip the whole thing, go to the belly. It's cool. <laughs> Keep the throat open. Lower to belly if you're not already there. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Go ahead, bring it on back. Forehead to the earth. Here we are to this place of surrender. Just giving yourself permission to be heavier here. Awesome. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead, come on up to either table or go on up into your down dog, whichever one resonates. Well, we won't be here too super long. Okay, so from table or down dog, whichever one you're in, we're gonna find our way back up to that forward fold, front side of the net. So just step, walk, come on up there however you do. And then inhale, lengthen your torso. Exhale, fold. And press into your feet, inhale, rise up, stand up. Exhale, thumbs to the heart. And just again, finding a place to stand to breathe. Good. And then we'll go ahead and take a turn and a big wide step to do a couple of warrior poses. I almost never go without these. So we'll start with the right foot to the right, left foot slightly pigeon toed in. Inhale, sweep those arms out and then exhale, warrior two. So come on into your warrior two. Relax the shoulders, but reach out through your fingertips. Look really gently right out over your right middle finger. Soften the eyes. Good. Nice. Let's bring hands to hips or waist, straighten right leg, turn those toes. We'll go to left side, left foot slightly or right foot slightly pigeon toed in, heel to arch or heel to heel, the alignment, inhale, arms out, exhale, warrior two. Just get in there, get really nice and strong. Feel the strength and power of your legs. Feel the earth below your feet. Lift and spread those toes if you're doing any gripping. Eyes gently gazing out over left middle finger, soften the shoulders. Just feeling all the strength and power in your legs. Good. And hands to hips or waist, let's straighten left leg, turn the toes. We'll heel toe in just slightly if you want to, to circle our hips around. I just get a bigger circle that way. <laughs> Good. And then go the other way. And come back to center. We'll heel toe out just a teeny bit. If you did go in, turn right foot to right, left foot slightly pigeon toed in, inhale, arms sweep out, exhale, warrior two to side angle. So you can start with a elbow on the thigh, or you can go all the way down to the earth. Just make sure that that left hip is really nice and open here. So if you're in there, you don't want your left hip to swing down towards the earth. And right bicep faces the ear, palm faces the floor. You're reaching, but not really trying to like overdo it. Just this beautiful long line of energy through left side body, check in with the toes. Awesome. 
Okay, strong legs. Let's inhale up. Hands to hips or waist, straighten out. Right leg, turn those toes. Let's turn feet to the left. Heel to arch or heel to heel. Inhale, sweep out. Exhale, come on down into your warrior two to your side angle. So whatever you did on that first side, repeat it here unless you have an injury that says nope. Always listen to the voice of nope <laughs> in the body, not otherwise. And when you're practicing. So relax that right shoulder. Breathe deeply, just a couple more breaths. Nice. Strong legs, inhale up, warrior two. Good, hands to hips or waist, straighten the leg, turn the toes and then heel toe in a little bit here and circle hips around. Nice blood flow down and through to the legs. And then go the opposite direction. And come back to center. We're gonna do triangles so you can leave your feet this distance or you can take them wider, it's up to you. Turn your right foot to right, left foot pigeon toed in a little bit. Inhale, arm sweep out. Make sure you can bend and straighten that right knee so it's not locked out. And then come down to your triangle. So same thing, just like on side angle, that top hip stays nice and open. Chest and heart open, shoulders, try to keep them on the same plane. And then bend and straighten that right knee, just check in with it. Good, one more breath. And strong legs, let's inhale up. Hands to hips or waist. Let's go ahead, turn those toes and then we'll turn our left foot to the left. Inhale, sweep it out. Little bend and straighten of that knee and then come on out to triangle. And on this side. And that left hand can be way up high if you need it to be. You don't have to come down to the floor ever. No requirement. Just think about this right hip, keeping it nice and open. Strong legs. Good. And then keep your legs strong. Inhale up. Hands to the hips or waist. Go ahead, turn those left toes. We'll circle again just for fun. <laughs> Good. And then circle the opposite direction. And from here, you can leave your feet as wide as they are, or you could go a little wider for a wide-legged forward fold. So hands to hips or waist. Just make sure your big toes are in the same line because one always creeps in front of the other. And then come on down to your fold. So whatever you do with your hands is up to you. You can leave them on your waist. You can grab your feet. You can walk your hands through the legs. Just make sure that your legs, your knees are not locking out. That's a common thing that can happen here. Your feet are still connected to the floor. You're not gripping those toes. The back of the neck is long. Good. Excellent. Then we're going to bring hands to hips or waist nice and slowly. Inhale, come on up. Big exhale at the top. And then we'll turn your left foot to the left, press into the left foot. Step that right foot forward, <laughs> coming all the way up to the front side of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center, just pause for a moment, close your eyes or not. 
and just feel the difference on the legs. They're so much closer together. The earth is still below you. And we have been in that wide legged position for a while. So just feel the difference there. Good. And then press into your feet, inhale, reach up. Let's exhale to come down. Inhale, lengthen torso. Exhale, fold. We'll come back into the plank or the knee down plank or the belly. <laughs> we'll all go to the belly in a minute, but just if you wanna hold plank for a couple breaths, just for fun, probably not your idea of fun. <laughs> And then come to the belly. Inhale up into Cobra. And then slowly transition back to your child's pose. Coming back, letting that forehead rest down. Surrendering the weight of the body to the earth. What can you release or let go of here? Nice. Good, and then let's come all the way back up and down to the belly <laughs> once more. We're gonna open up the shoulders in the opposite direction that we have so far today. So you'll take your right arm out to the side here, have your palm in line with your shoulder and then we're gonna bend your knees as you roll over onto the right side. So this could be it. You can bring the knees closer into the chest if you need to, okay? This might be good. Don't, don't ever push into shoulder pain. If you want a little bit more, you can bring those feet to the earth and kind of open yourself up a little bit more here. You can also flip the right palm open and then play a little game of trying to grab your own hand. <laughs> But you don't have to do that. <laughs> Good. And then nice and slowly we'll come back to the belly. Stack your palms and let your forehead rest in the center. And then bend your knees, windshield wiper your knees side to side. Good. And then bring the legs back to center, bring those legs all the way flat to the floor. This time a left arm out to the side and then roll over onto your side. So again, just doing what works best. You can always bring the feet into it. You can always bring the other hand into it, but that is just not even required. And do the body that's here today. Nice, and then we're gonna come to roll back onto the belly, bring the palms underneath the forehead, bend your knees, windshield wiper. Good job. And then bring the legs down. And then we're gonna just come up, we're gonna roll over onto the back. So I'm gonna get up so I can see my timer. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a back bend. So. Bend your knees, feet to the floor, feet hip width, knees hip width, and bring the hands down, lift your hips up. Don't turn your head once you get into this. You can wrap the hands underneath you, whatever again works best for you. You can hold opposite edges of the mat. Nice deep breath. And slowly release the hands, lower those hips down, 
Bring soles of feet together, let knees open up, Supta Baddha Konasana, finding rest. Awesome. Once more, just experience the body resting into the earth, finding this place of relaxation of surrender, really. Check in with your sitting bones, with your feet, with your hands. And then we'll go ahead and bend the knees, feet to the floor, bring your knees to hug into the chest. You can rock side to side here if that feels good. You can do anything you want to. Circle the knees towards one another, away from one another. Just giving yourself a little bit of self massage here. Good, and then we will take those feet down to the floor. Pull your right knee up towards the right armpit. So we'll start here. You can leave that left foot on the floor if you want to, or you can extend it all the way out. Totally up to you. And just hug that right knee up there towards the armpit. Make sure you're breathing. And then we're gonna come to a knee down twist. So left hand onto right knee. Open right arm up to the side and then roll over onto that left hip and twist. If this twist does not feel good, doesn't work for you, please feel free to just do any other twist, regular knee down with both knees or anything else. And if you want a little more opening for that right shoulder, right palm will face the ceiling. You can drag that right thumb up towards 12 o'clock, but not all the way to 12 o'clock, but just towards 12 o'clock. And then you're gonna slowly come back to center and bring the right foot down, bring the left foot down, reset your hips. If you want to here, you can windshield wiper your knees side to side just to integrate that twist on the first side. Good. And then we'll first leave the right foot down and now hug that left thigh, left leg in, pull the knee up towards the armpit. Breathe deeply. Good. And then if you want to extend the right heel out, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine too. If it does not work for your low back. Good. Nice deep breaths. Now we're going to slowly take the right hand to the left knee and then twist on over. Same thing in regards to this first side. If you want to take a different twist, then do that. A little extra opening for the left shoulder, left palm faces open towards the ceiling and then just kind of drag the hand up towards 12 o'clock while keeping the hand on the floor, by the way. Good. Let's go ahead and come all the way onto the back and bring those feet down. You can windshield wiper a little bit here just to even everything out. And then we will gently do one more little squeeze of the knees back into the chest. A nice hug here. Finding movement or stillness, whatever works for you to just 
Get, make your practice feel complete, little happy baby. Or if you're just like, I'm ready to Shavasana, <laughs> you can go right on into Shavasana and I will meet you there in just a moment. So I always say with Shavasana, find what's comfortable for you. If you'd rather sit up into a chair or lay on a bed or grab some comfy pillows to go up underneath your knees, your legs, please feel free to do that. Just get to a place where your body is able to rest. And now finding that place where you feel like you can just rest and really start to notice your breath in and out of the nose here. And soften the eyes and the face and the jaw. We'll go back to kind of where we started today, noticing the sitting bones, noticing the feet, and feeling a relation of those body parts to the earth below you, the contact. Noticing the palms, the hands. Okay. And coming back to breath, just feeling the inhale, feeling the exhale. And before I just even tell you where you notice it, just go into your body. Where do you feel your breath? And stay there for just a second. Really notice the in-breath, really notice the out-breath. How it feels in relation to that body part. A little more specific, go to the nostrils, feel the breath going in, the breath going out. Moving to the shoulders, the tops, the fronts of the shoulders, the collarbone, feeling the gentle spreading and lifting and lowering. Feeling back behind the heart, the shoulders expanding, falling in. Moving down a little bit to the ribs as you inhale the expansion there on the front body. <clears throat> the falling in on the exhale. The back body, maybe feeling the ribs on the back side of the body. Same thing, expanding. Falling in, coming to the belly, rising and falling gently. And even back behind the belly at the lower back, feeling that just a shift in movement maybe from the breath, maybe very subtle. Letting your hips just rest into the earth. Nice and heavy. And coming up into those palms once more, the hands, seeing if you can let them just completely surrender that feeling of just letting go here, just in your hands, your palms. As you surrender, let your palms become open, more heavy. Also let the weight of your forearms drop, elbows. 
upper arm bones. And then move down into the feet, the soles of the feet again, noticing that earth below you, maybe it's only the heels touching the earth or whatever part of your feet touching the earth, really go there, feel that, that weight, that heaviness. Allow your feet to just completely let go and relax. Move into the shin bones, the calf muscles, the knees, fronts of the knees, backs of the knees. The thigh bones nice and heavy here. The legs just completely surrendered, held. Back up the entire torso. Completely able to just relax. The back of the neck, the back of the head. Once more, the face and the jaw just nice and soft. Moving back to the nostrils, feeling the breath coming in, the breath going out. The jaw relaxed. Now the body just does this one, able to completely surrender to this feeling of rest, of letting go. And know that you can stay here in this restful place long after I stop talking. So if you are here and this just really feels nice today, just give yourself permission to stay here and rest. If you'd like to start a little gentle movement, you can reach up through arms, out through feet, legs. Slowly move your way to one side. Again, option to just stay on the earth as long as you want to or need to. And from your side, slowly coming up to sit. And in that seat, bringing your palms together, letting thumbs rest right at heart center, Anjali Mudra, similar to how we began. Perhaps noticing a different energy here. And take in a big inhale, long, slow exhale. Jai Bhagwan, namaste. Thank you guys so much for coming and practicing today. It's lovely to have you. And I'll see you again all very soon.